Hi, in this video we are going to talk about the principal root of a number. What is the principal root of a number and how do you find the principal root? Before we discuss principal roots, we have to understand first the concept of perfect squares. A perfect square is a number that can be write, written as a product of two equal numbers. Example, 4, 25, and 49 are perfect squares. Bakit? Because 4, we have 2, an integer, that when we multiply it, sabi product, multiply. When we, when we multiply it to itself, 2 times 2, and that, that becomes 4. Okay? So we can write 2 times 2 as 2 squared. Meaning 2, dalawang beses si multiply ang 2. So that's 2 times 2, and that is 4. Also, we have negative 2, the integer negative 2. If we multiply it to itself, negative 2 times negative 2, that is also 4. We can write this as negative 2, okay, so it's negative right here, negative 2 squared. Okay, 25 is also a perfect square because we have 5 times 5 or that can be written as 5 squared. Hindi yan 5 times 2, ha? 5 squared, meaning dalawang beses i-multiply si 5. So, that's 5 times 5, and that is 25. Also, negative 5 times negative 5 is also 25. And so, we can write this as negative 5 raised to 2, or negative 5 squared. Ma'am, bakit dito pagdating sa negative, may parenthesis? Dito wala. Kasi, ibig sabihin, yung negative... Nasa loob ng parenthesis, yun sila ang i-multiply ng dalawang beses. Kung hindi mo isasali si negative, ilagay mo siya sa labas ng parenthesis, then meaning si 5 lang ang i-multiply mo ng dalawang beses. So, kaya, importante na yung negative ay nasa loob ng parenthesis to mean negative 5 times negative 5. Also, 49 is a perfect square because 7 times 7 or 7 squared is 49. Negative 7 times negative 7 is also 49. So that is negative 7 squared equals 49. So we call these numbers as perfect squares. Now aside from them, there, there is a lot or there are a lot of perfect squares. Okay, so the first 20 perfect squares are 1, 4, 9, 16 hanggang 400. Okay, so these are the perfect squares. Right, the first 20 perfect squares. So 1 times 1, uh, 1 times 1, 1 squared yan, so that is 1. 2 times 2 is 4. 3 times 3 is 9. 4 times 4 is 16. 5 times 5 is 25. 6 times 6 is 36, and so on. Alright, so with that in mind, we can now discuss the principal root or the principal square root of a number. But take note, principal square root has two uh, key points. We have, or key words, we have the principal and we have the square root. Okay, so let's discuss first square root. Finding the square root of a number is the inverse operation of squaring a number. Okay, parang baliktad lang siya nito, no? So, we square this number and we have the perfect square. We square this number and we have the perfect square. We square this number and we have the perfect square. While in finding the square root, we have this number first, the square root of this number, and this will be equal to this number right here. Okay, how is that? Okay, let's have an example. But first, we have to bear in mind that a number has two square roots, dalawang square roots. Yung isa positive, ang isa naman ay negative. Example, the square root of 25. Okay. Um, disregard this symbol because this symbol means that it has two values, the positive and the negative square roots. Okay, kasi diba galing dito, two square roots, isa positive, ang isa negative. So, positive and negative square roots of 25 is equal to positive and negative 5. Since 25 is equal to 5 times 5, this is 1 is the positive 5, 
Okay? And 25 is also equal to negative 5 times negative 5. So, ito yung negative 5. Meaning, dalawang square roots niya, isang positive at saka isang negative. So, kaya here we have positive and negative 5. It means the square root of 25, the square roots of 25 are positive 5 and negative 5. Another example. The positive and negative square root of 4. Pwede din itong sabihin, find all the values of square root of 4. Kasi all values, we have two square roots. So, isang positive, isang negative. So, we have positive and negative 2. Okay, we write it this way. It means positive 2 and negative 2. Bakit? Positive 2 times positive 2 or 2 squared, that is equal to 4. Or, Negative 2 times negative 2 is also equal to 4. Another example, the values of the square root of 49. That is, yes, 7 times 7, that's 49. And also negative 7 times negative 7 is also 49. So we have two square roots, the positive and the negative 7. Another example, we have the square roots of 100. So, square roots of 100 are positive and negative 10. Bakit? Positive 10 times positive 10 is 100. Negative 10 times negative 10 is also 100. Okay, so we now understand the square roots of a number. So, isang positive, isang negative. Now, let's discuss the principal square root principal square root of a number. So, when we say principal in mathematics, in mathematics, it refers to uh, the positive value of the square root of a number or the positive square root of a number. So, the symbol for that is this one and this is called um, the radical sign or the radical symbol. Uh, we read this as square root. Okay, square root. So, the principal square roots, when we say principal, again, that's the positive value of the square root. So, the principal square roots of 4, 25, and 49 are 2, 5, and 7, respectively. So, again, kung square roots lang, we have positive 2 and negative 2. But when we say the principal square root of 4, that's positive 2. Square roots of 25, we have positive 5 and negative 5. But if we have the principal square root of 25, that's positive 5. Square roots of 49 are 7 and negative 7. But if we have the principal square root of 49, that's positive 7. So in symbols, we have it this way. We have the nth root of x equals y. Um, n here refers to the, uh, it, it's, um, it should be a number here, but if, it doesn't have a number, meaning it's automatically be, uh, it is uh, understood as 2, meaning square root kagaya nito. Walang number dito, kaya uh, it, this is read as square root. Okay? The number inside the radical sign is positive, and of course, the principal root is also positive. Example, what is the principal square root of 36? Okay? So, if we have this symbol, wala na yung plus minus dito sa labas, meaning it is referring to the principal root, okay? The principal square root. So, we have, of course, this is positive 6. The principal square root of 1, that is 1. 